Hi class. Uh, so I'm Mr. Wilson, and today we'll be discussing uh, verbs. So last last lesson we discussed adding ing to verbs. Today we'll be just discussing past tense. So to start out, let's do a short little review. Uh, but here I put a sentence: I blink to the park. Now, uh, do you think we could put it in this in this blank to make it a to make it a sentence? Walk. I don't know. That's good. And what is walk? as a part of speech. A verb. Perfect. All right, now let's have some more, get some more examples up here. Uh, does anyone else have enough? Bike. I bike to the park. Uh, anything else? Run. I'm one. Now we discussed this last time, last time about the sentences adding verbs. I walk to the park. But what would happen if we put it? Yesterday. Now, if we were to add yesterday to the sentence, this would change it to past tense. And the way we can do that is by, by adding an E D. So I walked to the park. Yeah. So what should we do with the next one? I biked to the park. Good. Oh, what about our last bird? I run to the park. One, unlike the, the our previous two verbs. It's actually an irregular verb. So we would actually change this to I. Ran to the to the park. Now irregular verbs are unique, and we will be just discussing these more in depth during our next lesson. But today we'll just be focusing on adding the ed to our regular verbs. I have a question. So you said to add an ed. So yes. why is it not B for bite? Why is it not B-I-K-E-E-D? That's a good question. Now the reason it's like this is because for the for past tense, it always ends in E-D. And bike, as you see, it, it already had the and the E. So we would just add, add the lots of D to it. So it would be bite instead of bike. Yeah. Like that. So after adding the ED to the sentence, uh, we're going to be moving on to our, our last activity tonight. So I will be giving us two pairs of verbs, one of which is going to be irregular, one is going to be a regular verb. Now I want the class to tell me which one of these is a regular verb, as well as how to say it in a sentence. Right, here's our first example. So we have the verb swim and the verb smile. Which one of these do you think is the regular verb? Yes. Smile would be said smile. 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 And swim is going to be an irregular verb, and where we would say this is swam. Alright. I'm going to give us another pair. Now we have draw and play. Which one of these is a, is a regular verb? Play. And would be interrogated as played? Correct. You can just add the ed. All right, now that we have examples of what a regular and irregular verb are, or we'll be discussing next lesson or in depth of what an irregular verb is and how we can use it in a sentence. And 
this is our virtual lesson.